Hello everybody, welcome to the training of the Ecostructure Automation Expert. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this training, what we're going to see is how we can get familiar with this software and having the implementation on a real machine, which is our sorting line that we're going to see later. So let's go to the presentation. So uh, for those who don't know the software, this, uh, this Ecostructure Automation Expert works under uh, a different standard compared with the machine expert or control expert okay the standard that it uses, as we can see over here okay is the ic61499 okay so this standard is is not new okay but this software uses this standard and for example for me or for other colleagues they use um the machine expert control expert or different software for plcs uh for them and for me is also new so what it has is a standard compared with the um with the one that we know the ic61131 okay is that instead of working on uh using the cycle of the plc okay it uses uh events so the logic is driven by events Okay, so this um, Ecostructure Automation Expert, it isn't just a new software, okay, because it is oriented to use on the IoT platforms, okay, regarding to the um, IoT uh, industry 4.0. So here we can see a few of the main points of this software, okay, as you can see in there. So this Ecostructure Automation Expert, what it does, or one of the things that I was astonished about is that it allows you to separate the logic that you want from the hardware. Okay, so by doing that, you don't have a fixed hardware to download the application. Okay, in this case, what it allows you is to have, for example, I have the um, in this case on the construction automation expert, we have different controllers, we have the Modicon M251 D pack, we have the Modicon M580 D pack, we have also the ATV D pack, but we also have the soft D pack that allow us to install the the build time, okay, the, um, the application, okay, for example, in an operating system. That it could be our laptop, or it could be, for example, another third party device. Uh, that with uh, that has an operating system, or we even can use a rubber spy, a Raspberry Pi. So here we can see that we are not fixed to use the hardware of Schneider. For example, we can use a different hardware, okay? But it has also the runtime for the Ecostructure Automation Expert. Uh, so what you need is just the software to download it there. Now, having this possibility of having the same environment of the program, it allows us to easily communicate different devices. Okay, so this integration is what we see in there: the simple system orchestration. So we have different devices over all connected with different kind of hardware but with the, the runtime okay for the execution it's going to be the same now this uh definition of 9080 integration is because is object oriented okay so that will help us the easy integration with the iot platform now um on the efficiency engineering what we're going to see later is that we have the possibility not also to create the logic for the plc but to create a graphic interface that allows us to configure and monitor the logic that we have now this is just an overview of this part but let's go more into details so if we compare for example the ecostructure automation expert how it works using the ic61499 with the um 
machine expert or control expert. If we take, for example, one function block or a machine expert or control expert, you just see just one block with inputs and outputs, and sometimes you can have input and output together. Now, here it works differently in this standard because we have on the top part of the function, okay, we have the events, inputs and outputs, and then we also have data inputs and outputs. Now, I already mentioned that this IEC standard works under uh, events driven. So basically, what we have an event on one of the inputs, okay, inside this function that we have, it has like a, a machine state. So depending on the input that we have on the events, we can execute different code. This uh, state machine, what we have is called here the ECC, which is execution control chart. Now, on this execution of the code, okay, uh, execution control chart of this machine state, we can execute code. And if you take a look over here, the execution of the code, okay, this algorithm is based in something that we know, which is the IC61131. So if you take a look here, we use the IEC 61131, um, okay, to create logic also. So this ecostructure automation expert doesn't kill the standard IEC 61131. This IEC 61499 is a complement for that, okay. This doesn't mean that you can download the application on a this ecostructure automation expert into M340 or M241 or another M251. No, it doesn't mean that. Okay, we just need a specific CPU PLCs for that. Okay, that we have the M580 DPAC and the M251 DPAC, but we can download to a laptop, okay, or a Raspberry Pi the code, deploy the code, okay, that we already done on the ecostructure automation expert. Okay, now once we have defined this combination or this uh, logic on uh, basic function block that we have here, okay, we can put them together to get this uh, a composite or what we call a cut. The composite cut are different, but we can create a composite uh, automation type which is called cut. The advantage of having this kind of, of cat is that we can add inside the functions that we have created and then we can link it together using the events and data and we can add a graphical interface. This graphical interface will allow us to easily access to the option that we are trying to configure. Okay. So that will give us some kind of efficiency when we want to um, create the application, okay? What we're going to see later is that, for example, in the application that we have, is that we have divided the machine in different parts and we just create for each part of the machine a specific cut. And this cut has the logic and also has the part of the graphical interface that allows us to ECD access to the machine and we just need to add it in the program and just connect okay which is one of the advantages of this now once we have this okay the cut what we can do is to link with another cut and create our application in this particular case what i want to show you is okay I have different applications in one solution on the software that I can separate the logic of each application and be deployed into different devices. So that is the advantage. So you can separate the logic from the hardware, okay? And then define in which part of the device you want to download the logic, which is something good. And so far, this cannot be done in the control expert or machine expert with the PLC that we have. So that is something new that we have. And if you go back to the first part, okay, 
we already come on that we have the decoupling application from implementation that basically is that okay uh, let's just go back and put the pen there we go so if we take a full picture here we can see that we have application a b and c and inside we have different cut cut five and this one could be cut one you can see that inside they are linked together okay this one for events this one for data okay and below we can see that we have two PLCs, okay, or it could be a different runtime for this. So, um, as you can see, in each device, we have resources. Those resources are the ones that can contain our logic that we want. So, basically, we can divide the application to be locating different resources, okay, and then the software will communicate to each device okay using this communication interface so this communication interface is the one that will communicate to all devices and share the data for different applications okay between the different resources okay so this common interface is the one that will allow us later to make the orchestration of our machine now there are I will I believe I found um two good explanations okay for this um this one is for the 60 seconds there is a playlist for the 60 seconds and then the first video that i don't know why is not showing here uh this one okay is the explanation about the ic61499 and i believe it's much more explained than mine so i totally recommend you to take a look on that one and also i can share with you two links for the IoT and what it is important to have this 61.499 for our machine or what it means. Okay. So what I want to quickly show you, okay, is an overview of the software. What we have, basically, we have the possibility to configure our application, okay, with different devices and connect them. For example, in this case, I have a M251 Deepak. I can have different and to and different devices over here look connected we can connect them together in this case just making this up okay we can connect and we can secure the connection uh we can test the communication with the devices and then if you take a look here in the system we have application this is our application and you can see in this particular case i have one for the conveyor certain line that we want to that uh, we want to control and then we have the different bulb for the sorting part and you can see here we are just using one line to communicate each part of the machine okay and this one line is what we're going to call later the adapters that allows to easily integrate different blocks without sharing, sharing too many cables for example us and here okay there are too many different ways of how we can do this but this is basically the idea so here you can see that I can select different devices and I can connect, for example, separate the logic part for the physical device. So this is basically the idea. We're going to be in more details later, but this is what I want to show you. Um, if we go back here, just to check. We have the possibility to link different IOs or redistribute the IO dependent application, which is fine. We let me just double check. We have this possibility, what I mentioned before. We have the application and we have the devices. Um, we are able to separate this application from the physical device. Okay, this is what I meant. And then you can res the um, assign or mapping is what we call our application to the right controller or the runtime that we want. Okay, so let's just give a quick look. Of what is inside okay this is for example is what is inside the conveyor block okay there is a lot of things but once we have made all this code okay what we have at the end is just this this conveyor is just one block okay 
we're going to see later that we have, for example, events, and we also have the data. And in the data, we have these adapters that allow to easily share information between the different blocks. Okay. But this is what I really wanted to show you. Uh, have an overview of what this ecostructure automation have to offer to us. Okay, so um, this is it for this uh, overview. Okay, but I totally recommend you to take a look on those videos for the IEC 61499 and also for the ecostructure automation expert in 60 seconds. There is a playlist for that, which is good. Uh, the function blocks that we are going to use here i haven't made them okay i just implement that on the sorting line but any question something i can update the function blocks if they are not working or you have uh, for the for the specifications so thank you very much for watching this video and i see you on the next one